At 5.30, a car slams into and then through a home in Vancouver. Fortunately, no one was home. And now we've learned police say the driver may have been high on something called spice, synthetic marijuana. And we found out this may be the second crash just this week related to the illegal drug. That's right. The crash happened just this morning. It was a home at 2514 Southeast Blairmont Drive in Vancouver. And we wanted to know, can police do anything more to control the sale of spice? Chris Holmstrom is getting answers tonight. Law enforcement has been dealing with this issue for years, but here's the problem. There are hundreds of different chemicals that manufacturers can use. So when authorities ban one of them, they just use another one. And every time, the effect is different. Like what happens if they're at home, they'd be dead. It's a scenario that Stacy Robinson cannot get out of her head after a 19-year-old slammed into her family's Vancouver home early this morning. It looks like destruction, like there's no walls. Yeah. Beds are outside. Fortunately, the family was out of town. But take a look at this picture. I'm told the car stopped in this room, the bedroom of a teenage girl. It stopped, yeah, in the back of the, on top of a bed, on top of Chia's bed. So if she would have been there, she would have died. Vancouver police say the crash is under investigation, but believe speed and spice are the main factors. I found out doctors at the Oregon Poison Center have seen an uptick in people using the drug. They think that they're trying a synthetic marijuana. In reality, you know, these synthetic cannabinoids are laboratory chemicals that are sprayed onto plant-like material. I learned manufacturers get away with selling it because on the package, it says not for human consumption and do not burn. And while several states have banned certain chemical compounds, there are still hundreds more that have not been identified, making them legal. The problem with that is each compound has a different side effect. Recently, over the last few months, we've been getting a lot of calls about people having seizures when they have spice. So clearly we see a chemical is being switched out most likely and it's causing different effects in the body. Fortunately, in this case, no one died, but still a reminder for this family of what could have happened. I also contacted the Washington State Toxicology Lab. They tell me they do not have a lot of reports of people using the synthetic drug. That's because it does not show up in most drug tests. As for this home, the family will stay here until it's secure. Reporting in Vancouver, I'm Chris Holmstrom, Quinn 6 News.